We're going to spend some time in the book of Nehemiah, just looking at what is involved in the fulfilling of an assignment. All of us are on assignment. Nehemiah works on rebuilding the walls of the city of Jerusalem. But then he moves from there into a life assignment, which is the spiritual restoration and revival of the Jewish people inside Jerusalem. God is in the habit of putting assignments into our hearts. He hears news that the walls of the city of Jerusalem have still remained the way they were when Nebuchadnezzar came and they were broken down. It disturbed him. Made him feel rest restless. I want to go. I want to see those walls rebuilt. And immediately, the favor of God comes upon Nehemiah's life. And not only that, I'll make sure that I give you proper authorization. I, I'm going to give you a letter that says, you've been authorized by me to go do this. And not only that, I will make sure that you get all the materials you need to get the job done. What's stirring inside you? Pay attention to it. Start praying about it. As Nehemiah progresses into his assignment, is that he spends time incubating that. He doesn't just rush off and start rebuilding those city walls, but he takes time to do a survey, take stock of things. I'm sure plans are running through his mind and so that incubation time is also very important for you and me. You're getting yourself ready on the inside for this assignment. And I believe that you and I must come to that place of personal conviction. If you're not in that place and you step out, then when you face difficulty, then when you face challenges, the tendency is to back off. Nehemiah then communicates the vision. He shares the vision. He does not draw people to himself. So the vision is not centered around the man. He draws people to God. And the fourth thing we see, and this is the entire chapter 3, is that he enlists participation. You have all kinds of workmen. You have the priests. You have nobles. You have officials. Men and women, everybody, get in on this. Others find their assignments as they participate in an assignment God's given you. And we must understand that most often, a God-given vision is bigger than the individual. Don't let the, the lack of support from some people, the skepticism or the questioning of some people cause you to doubt what God has put in your heart. That's why that incubation period is so important. As soon as the work begins, they face external threats. And you and I must understand that just because we have a God-given vision doesn't mean we will not face challenges. In fact, a sign that you're on God's assignment is that the devil's interested in stopping it and in interfering with it. It's a sign. It's a good sign. When you come into chapter 5, we see that there are internal conflicts. So he, he holds the leaders to a high standard. The next thing we see is he holds himself to that high standard. For 12 years, neither I nor my brothers ate the governor's provisions. In verse 15, the end of it, he says, I did not do so because of the fear of God. There will be times when attacks will get personal, but you've got to have that strength inside you to stay focused on what God's called you to do. Stay away from traps that have been laid for you. Stay busy with your assignment. Stay focused. Then Nehemiah does an amazing thing. He appoints people to continue. He, he chooses them because he was a faithful man and feared God more than any. You see, he selected the right people. People were faithful and people feared God. I said, guys, my job is done, but the city still needs leadership. You guys are going to be in charge of this city. Faithful people. People who feared God. I see something very interesting. Once Nehemiah does that, Nehemiah receives his next assignment. It says, then God put it into my heart. But what I find interesting is this. Both in chapter 2 and verse 12, when he received his first, first assignment. And in chapter 7 and verse 5, when he received his second assignment. It happened the same way. God put it in my heart. Amen. Amen.